Yo, yo, what's happening, Wolfgang? Chill, chill, we've got to be quiet because it's like 7 o'clock in the morning and the clients are still in bed. Welcome back to the channel, my name's David and um, I'm the director of Wolf Builders and today we're going to be building a deck on top of a deck. <laughs> so we're actually back at our um, renovation jobby. Um, this is like the final little bit um, that we've got to do to sort of complete the job. Now, um, as you can see, we've got an existing deck down here, right? The boys yesterday, Fabian and Dave, removed the existing decking and started to put new deck joists on top of the old ones. The reason we're doing that is we want to pack this deck up so we can get a good height, if you have a look over there, um, between our door, in, inside and outside, um, indoor, outdoor flow. We're not going to get right up to floor height um, because these are actually bifold doors so they need a bit of space to swing open, but we're going to get it pretty close. now. Um, we're using a 6x2, an, an H3.2 6x2, um, and they actually have to get ripped down just to be adjusted to the correct height over there. Um, the boys have done all the internal ones, now I'm just going to go through and do the external. Um, I'm just going to grab my level, like this, measure between the level and the joist, and same down that end, and then we're going to be able to rip up our 6x2 and stick it on top and um, that's going to give our boundary joist over there, our boundary joist over there, and then hopefully by that time, the clients are awake and we can get this car moved down here, look. Um, and we should be able to cut the tail ends and get this final boundary joist on, and then we can start laying some decking. So let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy, and um, yeah, beauty. So let's just cut the, let's just measure this first joist, uh, this final joist, so we've got, 104, and I'll just measure down the other end, and then we'll rip it up, and then we'll stick it in, and um, we'll see you when we're putting our boundary joist on. Yeah, buddy. You suck. Bobby. Alright, so I had to shoot off to a meeting pretty quickly, but Fabian pretty much chopped the balustrading off. He measured from the block work to the outside of our joist uh, a specific number that makes it so we've got a full board all the way through. Mark them all with a string line or chalk line, then cut them all down, which is good. He's got the boundary in. He's, well, not in, but ready to go. So now, what we need to do is now the boundary on. We're going to get our nog blocking in that we need for our border board or our picture frame. Then we can start laying some decking. Choo! Far out or knock off, go to the pub. <laughs> is that you there? Good there? Oh, let me get mine. Oh, oops. Another joist cut. Bit of a check out in it. Um, and that's going to support the edge of our picture frame. Edge of our picture framing, if that makes sense. Hey, did you guys give me anything? No. What the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> Hand over my kebab. You said Fabian. These guys, so up here, look at all their nice ass bakery food and everything, and don't even give me anything. 
Fuck. Just goes to show how much respect there is, eh? No coffee, no nothing. All right, so pretty much got all my deck joists in where I want them. Um, but I wanted to just double check for square. Now, I'm not too fussed about this side. This side is where it is. Um, I'm more fussed about this because I'm going to put my picture frame on and leave that side open. And then I'm going to lay my decking and run it past and then trim it off afterwards. But I want to try and get this joist straight. I mean square with my, my outside boundary joist. And I know that my outside boundary joist is parallel with the block work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 3, 4, 5. I'm going to measure along this length here, which I know is 3, 6, 52. Or 3, 5, 62, sorry. And then I've just done a measurement about 2.4 along this edge. And then I'm just going to grab my tape and I'm going to... Well, first I put it into the right angle triangle calculator. You can do the math on, the, on your piece of wood or whatever, but you just go online, look up right angle triangle calculator. And then I just took my tape on there. I'm running with the bottom of the tape on this. And my measurement wants to be 4295. <coughs> and I want to measure, I don't know if you can see me over here, but I'm measuring from that corner to my mark over here, 4295. And I'm just going to move that joist in and out where I need it uh, until it's in the right spot. And then I'm going to mark and then nail that off. That way I know this edge and this edge is square. And we're going to get nice, a nice finish to the decking board, butting into the picture frame. So, yeah. Then I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to eye this up, and if it's got a bow in it one way or the other, I'll put a nog in the middle, and then try and get that nice and straight. So when we go to put our balustrading on, it makes things easy. Okay, sweet. So I've got my picture frame on. Starting from here, wrapping around, I'm leaving that side open so we can just run our boards through and then trim it off later so we can get a nice clear cut. Now, what I want to do next is I want to get our straightener board. Now, straightener board pretty much makes sections um, for our decking to go in between. Now, the way we calculate that out is we've got our thick width, our board. It's about 140 mil. We want to go 100 and maybe add 4 mil, 144 times 5, 720. So we want to push, measure our tape, 720, 720. Same on that side. Now we don't have a chalk line, so I've just got Fabiano to wet this, wet this out. Now we've got a wet string line, you good? You just hold it on that one there. And I'm just going to hold it there and you pull it tight. Happy there? Yeah. You good there? So now I've got my little wet line, and I'm just going to quickly make some marks before it dries. That dries quick, bro. I think that should be good. Now we'll go to the next one, I'm just going to pull it along. It's going to do two for now, and you got your next one. Happy? Yeah, Double? Double. Okay, we need to wet it again. Ha <laughs> ha! Let it off a bit. So you can sort of see what we've done. We've straightened this board. Now we can fill our decking in between that. Get them nice and straight and then repeat the process pretty much. We actually ran out of decking <laughs> for the day, but um, we just screw every second joist. Uh, we use these wedges, you can see, 
and that's going to space the decking out really nice, keep it nice and straight. Uh, but now we're going to start setting up the posts. I've just got Fabian. He's going through and he's cut all our posts to length. Um, and then what he's done is he's chosen the nicest face. Um, so because we, we want the nicest face facing outwards, of course. Um, and then he's marking 160 mil, which is the depth of this. Um, uh, that's including decking and our joist or our, our, our boundary joist, sorry. So he's marking them all and now he's going to go through and put a little nail in on the top of that line. Um, and that way when we go to sit the post up um, in place where we need it, it's going to be easier for us and then we can just throw a clamp on. And we don't have the bolts or anything, but we're just going to use a couple of bugle screws, get it in place, get it somewhat plumb. And that way we can go through, um, not tomorrow, but on Friday and bolt everything together. Very nice. Okay, so you can see Fabiano's got his little nail in, 160 mil up, and we're just gonna sit the post down and in like this. Yep, yep. Just gonna slide it down. Just got a little packet to keep it up. And then, just gonna leave it like this, pretty good there. Oh, we have to come out, eh? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Yep. Grab the level first. We just, what we're, what's happening is we're hitting this thing here, so um, we wanna be about 12 mil off the cell. Pretty good there, eh? Yep. Okay, sweet. What I'll do now is I'm gonna go underneath. So now I'm pretty much going to just pretty much drill. Yep. On an angle. Like that. So that pre drill is pretty much stopping the decking from splitting. And then. You happy? Yep. It's going to clamp the post in hard and then what that's going to do is just hold the post in place and now we can go through and drill our bolts all the way through and Bob's your auntie. Bob's your auntie. Okay, we're back on site. The renovation jobby finishing off this deck. Now there's been a few changes. Um, I was in Bunnings this morning looking at these fence rails. Those fence rails were going to go in between these posts. Um, but I was looking at the system here and I called the clients and I was like, I wonder if these guys would like this system instead of this one. And they said yes. So. We're going to have to pull those posts off, um, replace the band board, um, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Um, and then we will use those posts to sit on top. And I think it's just going to look a little bit cleaner, not so bulky, and especially for such a small deck, it's going to look really good. So um, I think we're going to roll with that. So I guess the first plan of attack is I really want to um, finish the decking off, but I want to try and use my band board up where I can. I realize now that Potentially that's not going to happen because I've already got screws holding it in so I'll just leave that for now <laughs> Just thinking as I'm going um, and then Okay, so pretty much plan of attack for the day. I'll fill the rest of the um, decking boards in I'm gonna get the balustrading up. I've got to put a few nogs in place for those um, handrail posts, balustrade posts, um, and then I'm going to put this 200 by 50 in, this new one, in along here, um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice safe deck by the end of the day. It's, um, yeah, 10.30 now, I've been racing around doing other stuff, but we should get it done. Now, the best thing to do here is to do patterns number systems, especially if I'm working by myself, so I'm going to go up, I'm going to measure all the decking boards that I need, come back down, cut them all, go back up, install them, and then I'll come back, I'm going to put this 250, 200 by 50 in, nog out where necessary for my new balustrade posts, and then we're good to go. Sorry, I'm rock on rail, let's get it.
Alright, I finally made it back to site. Sorry, freaking on Monday morning, Friday didn't really go to plan. It was raining, in and out of the weather, in and out, bring it in and outside. This was really un unproductive to leave the camera out and stuff like that. So, what I pretty much got done is I got the posts bolted on. Mikey's just coming through and doing this last one now. You can see he's leveling it up. Um, and then he's gonna, he's got his bottom bolt in, then he's just gonna go through to his top one. And I'm coming through, and I'm coming, cutting this aluminium balustrading through here that's gonna fit in between each post. Okay, so I just want to explain a little system that I'm using to get this um, aluminium balustrade set evenly between the posts. Now, uh, what I mean by that is, if I just measure my measurement 1404, and then put a little mark here, um, and cut that, my balustrading isn't going to be sitting evenly between the posts. I'm going to have a 40 mil gap on one side between the posts and a 85 mil gap on the other side. Now, the way I like to figure out that, uh, figure out the distance between both rails is pretty much I measure this one and go 85. Now, wherever your mark is, go to the one closest to the um, on your left hand side, I guess, depending what way you're facing. You want to put an 85 mil mark there. That way, this distance between here and there and that and that are the same. Then I'll put a little square mark. And it's literally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna half this measurement out, which is, I got 48 there. So 24, and I'm gonna measure back off my 85 mil mark, 24 mil. Oh. 24, same off this one, 24 mil. And that way, we're gonna, we pretty much split the dif 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 difference between this little section here, because that's a bit that's screwing us up. And then we're gonna have an even balustrade system between the posts. So now I've got, let's just say roughly 62, and then I should have roughly 62, yeah. So that's pretty much the way I like to do it. It's sort of a little confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really straightforward. Um, I probably explained it like a fucking idiot, but I'm just going through and cutting those. Mikey's just leveling up and doing this last post here. Uh, then we'll go and get our four x two top cap on, uh, make that look really nice, and then we'll start installing this um, balustrading. We'll get that sorted, and then hot job and knock. Sweet, so I just realized that um, on Friday I mentioned that we were going to be putting the aluminium posts on top of the deck, but the, I don't know if I mentioned this, I uh, mentioned on Friday or not, but the, um, but what's happening is um, the clients changed their mind and we're going with the timber post now, which I kind of like to look better. You can stick, stick a bear on top here, um, but yeah, that balustrading pretty much, aluminium balustrade just sits in the center of the post. And you can see our even gaps now through here. Looks really good. Um, now, I will say that we were given these little fucking tech screws here. Um, and they're really for steel, not, uh, not timber. So I'm going to have to go back through and change all those because they hardly even grip. And especially being a balustrade, we want something nice and solid. But um, yeah, now we're going to finish off doing some decking around the border. And that will be this deck pretty much finished. Oh, a few CPC 80s, but I'm going to grab some um, tomorrow because I forgot them. But, woo! Looking good. So we come to through to do these border boards and we came into a bit of a, bit of, bit of a situation where this existing bearer has actually got about an 8mm sag in it. Um, we, also, we also had a bit of a stuff up. Um, Maybe come around here, Mikey. Well, not a stuff up, but 
we're using these 140 mil boards and the client asked us to um, put the border board all the way down but we're going to be left with a tiny little ripping here um, so we've got two little issues that we needed to resolve um, and the best way to go about that is if you come back around here now um, is we pretty much split the difference uh, between the underneath side of this uh, border board or boundary board to the underneath side of our joist and we ended up ripping um, a piece of timber up halfway between that line so this is a hundred and sixty so we made it 80 mil you can see what we've done here now on this front face I've actually checked a full board up and in between all the joists uh, just to give it a cleaner finish uh, the client was uh, wanting to try and hide that ugly white beam there so that's pretty much what we're doing at the moment um, you can see we've done a nice check out all the way through got this nice and straight this is nice and straight now our only little issue was we're going to end up with a 10 mil overhang here um, or 8 mil overhang here but I don't think that's a major um, it means that we get a nice straight line along the front we don't have a saggy beam and we also have nice clean lines everywhere so yeah that was my solution I hope that made sense but yeah we're a bit humming and hurrying eh mm -hmm. but we're at, the end, at the end of the day we made the decision bit the bullet and freaking did it ok Ooh, let's yeah. get this up eh screws and bits and pieces to do but you can sort of see the final product it's still got a few small pieces to do little bits of touch-ups here and there down pipes to sort out and everything like that but that's going to be pretty much the last video for here hey eh? hope you guys enjoyed it ah, hee -hee. stoked can't wait to do the walkthrough freaking looking really good in there but anyway Come